Chief Abraham, can I remind you again of the Jeopardy here? Could we wait for morning? The men have been prepping. We are an hour behind. An hour behind? Come on, Chief. It's cold as hell in here, and that thing's a beast. Ugh. Ugh. It's a devil, all right, but it could be worse. It couldn't be any worse. Oh, it's on. Why don't we turn it off? It can't be turned off. That's not possible. It's possible-ish. The whaler has an archaic perpetual motion engine. Once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. Well, why don't we just dismantle it? It can't be dismantled under orders of our crew chief. This is heaven sent. Movers, show your salt! Abraham, you can't mean that. We can't move under these conditions, it's insane! As there is one god over the earth, there is one crew chief over this crew. Move it! Thus, I put out the last fear. <sighs> Sweet Saint Elmo. He's alive. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with 475,000 volts and he's alive. It's as if death itself has retreated from Abraham's vengeance. Now, earn your salt. Move it! He's off the clock. We all are, boys. Move it! Move this fucking thing! It's just a fucking freezer! A monstrous one for sure, but a freezer no more! And we are movers, no less! from freezers, we move them!
Three days later, I would be picked up by the state police. Upon returning to the site, not one piece of evidence of the Bedford Movers, or of Chief Abraham, or even the Whaler could be found. Only Quinton's dolly would prove that they ever really existed. Since that horrible night, there are some who claim that on the night of each full moon, barely visible, on some distant highway, Abraham still wrestles with the beast, always racing against time. If there's a lesson here, I'll leave it for you to discover. It's all I want, it's all I want.